give out women's football, we caught up with the very courageous Shannon McFerrin. After a year out of the game, Sharon McFerrin is back leading the Victorian University St Albans women's football team and exhibiting all those leadership qualities that she was renowned for. Twelve months ago, she was operated on with a brain tumour, but she has fully recovered and is back playing the game that she loves so much and excels at. Shannon, uh, congratulations. Great to get back onto the field. Yeah, it is. It's been really, really good. Um, the girls have been really supportive and um, it feels really, really good running around out there again. What must it have felt like when you first found out you had a brain tumour? Footy was gone, I guess. Yeah, um, probably was for a year, I guess, but it um, gave me motivation to get back um, on my feet. And my teammates, like I said, have been great and gave me something to aim for, so I'm really happy that I'm back out there with the girls. At your lowest fitness level in that, during that time, did you ever think you'd get the fitness back? Uh, no, probably not. Um, you know, I had to go through walking and then build up to running slowly, and so um, the coordination was probably a bit out of whack, but um, I guess I've just slowly progressed, so it's got me to where I am now, which is great. Henry, how was it when you found that your daughter had a brain tumour? Oh, it was, you know, pretty... Uh... Well, it was sort of pretty difficult to comprehend and sort of, uh, yeah, it was a real shock to both my wife and I. We were sort of, you know, not knowing what was going to happen, but, uh, you know, in the end it worked out all right. It was a benign tumour, so, um, but, yeah, it was still a big thing. We didn't know how she was going to go, come through the operation. and uh, But, uh, you know, as you've probably seen, you know, she's come through all right and she's uh, really playing good footy again, so we're stoked. It must have been amazing for someone who was that fit to be de debilitated like she was. Oh, you got no idea, mate. Uh, yeah, it was really hard, so sort of hard to live with for a while because she really wanted to do things that she she couldn't do. You know, she couldn't even walk a straight line, and um, you know, she got very dizzy and, and stuff like that. So it was, you know, yeah, really hard to to sort of live with her for a while. But uh, yeah, once she got the okay to train, she just hasn't stopped. She's just been training for the last six months like you would not believe. She's unbelievable really great what inspiration is shannon to uh, come back and play after a tumor oh look it's um inspirational words can't say i mean she's out of the game for 12 months and uh, as you can see today she's running around on the ball not only running around on the ball she's actually probably the uh, number one position getter so for our team just to have a, a role model and a, an inspiration for us and not only for st Albans but also for women's footy your fitness i guess that was a major part of your, your recovery yeah definitely um i really worked fitness through pre-season. Probably started pre-season um, in October, so last year, which is probably a little bit early compared to some of the other girls. But um, yeah, I worked really hard and so sort of um, getting out there, I guess, is a reward. I thought if anybody could do it, she could do it because she's just got that, I don't know, she's just got that will to do whatever she wants and uh, she was determined to do it and uh, yeah, look, we just, we just wished her well and yeah, she's just done everything we could ask of her. She's just super fit now, so she's happy. Well, it's great to have the family uh, all down at the uh, ladies' Yeah, footy. all down, yeah. My son's down with his grand and my grandson and that, and uh, my daughter-in-law and my wife's a trainer, so yeah, and I'm the runner. So it's good, yeah, and we're really pleased, and uh, just for the team too, and Shannon's been a real inspiration to the girls. The girls have been fantastic for her too. They've really helped her along so much. It's, it's amazing. It's a good thing about women's footy. They look after each other. Thanks, Benny. Great stuff there, and we'll certainly be keeping tabs on the VWFL right through season. 2011 here on the local footy show. As we go back to the action last Saturday...